How to draw realistic hips, not stupid ones. Here are some examples of some pretty bad ideas on how to draw hips. They don't work. Not at all. Take a look at the pelvis bone for a second. You can see how I've drawn a sort of simplified version of the pelvis bone, which consists of this sort of horizontal oval with two, I guess you could say, butterfly wings coming out of it. Also pay close attention to the way that the femur connects to the pelvis. This is very important in drawing realistic hips. Let's study this x-ray for a second. Notice how the edges of the pelvis and the femur affect the shape of the hip region. Now we can use our hip structure and the simplified skeletons that we use as a base of our figure drawings. As you can see, first I've created a sort of skeleton in the red as, with a rib cage, spine, hips, femur, and then I've gone in with the black later on and fleshed it out. As a side note, the male pelvis is taller and skinnier while the female pelvis is wider and shorter. This concludes my tutorial. You can find more fun stuff at brokenshard.net. I'm sorry that this was so short. I will hopefully have some longer ones later on.